five features of Task Aid and how I use it as a Kanban workflow. Overview. When working on a personal project, you might end up with an extensive list of tasks with so many ideas and suggestions from people on what you need to do. I had similar issues when I was setting up a YouTube channel. I created a Kanban board with Trello, but soon it became flooded with tasks from YouTube videos and blogs on how to set up a YouTube channel successfully. I found it a struggle to organize tasks into groups and work out what task I should work on next. I wanted a system to find a way to visualize the tasks I had to do and help me organize and plan a personal project. A viewer suggested I review Task Aid, but instead of using it as a task manager, I decided to use it as a personal project management tool. If you're interested in more techniques, tools, and hacks to improve your workflow, please subscribe to my channel for the latest videos. What is a Kanban workflow? I use Kanban methodology to manage personal projects. A project for me is a set of tasks that when delivered meets a particular goal. Kanban consists of three boards. I capture the tasks and add it to the to-do board. I organize the task so it's grouped with similar context. For example, if the task is related to sending emails, I arrange those tasks together. I prioritize tasks using the Eisenhower matrix and ensure dependencies between the tasks are planned correctly. I work through the to-do board and move the prioritized task to the doing board and start working on it. Once completed, I move the task to the done board. I continue to review the to-do board until I'm happy to class the project as delivered, or I move the next set of tasks to the doing board. What is Task A? Task Aid is a task management tool which brings together task notes and communication into one service. Its unique selling point seems to be a robust set of collaboration tools so groups of people can work on tasks and discuss on chat, call, and video conference. It has a notion type interface which allows users to structure elements into a custom workflows and design. It is available as a mobile app web app and desktop app, allowing it to be used anywhere with an internet connection. The mobile app also offers an offline mode, which is important to me when I'm traveling with no internet access. It also provides a free price model with unlimited tasks, users and projects, but is limited to 100 megs. Many people see task aid as a notion alternative or a task management replacement. And even though it can do these things, it does so with limitations, but I think it's best suited as a Trello replacement. The following features are the reasons why I think it can replace Trello for me. Creating tasks and project. Task aid allows you to create a project in two main ways. Firstly, you can create a project manually or from a template. Secondly, you can import a project from Trello. Let's look at both these routes. Once you're logged in, TaskAid presents an overview of the projects that are in your workspace. To create a new project, you need to go New, then select List. You can choose to select a template or create your own project. I created a name for the project. I then created a check block and started listing out the tasks. From there, you can invite more people to the project and contact them via chat, call or video conference and work together to fill up the list. You can add individual tasks manually or you can copy a list of tasks from another source. Another way to create a new project is to import it straight from Trello. To import, you need to go to New, then Import. Task Aid will ask you to authenticate with Trello. Once authenticated, you need to select the Trello project you wish to import. Task Aid will import that board. I found this method works best when on the Task Aid website on a web browser. Organizing tasks in the mind map. Once you have a list of tasks, you can view the board as a mind map. The mind map feature allows you to organize tasks into different sub lists. In my productivity video, I discussed how I organize tasks that are similar together so I can work on them at the same time. In the project, switch to mind map view. From here, I can see all the tasks that are connected to my to-do list. I've grouped tasks by different lists, such as channel, video, playlists, etc. I can move the lists into different order. I can also move tasks around and make these tasks into lists. I can still do many actions on the task in my mind map view, including delete. The best feature of the mind map view is I can collapse the lists down so that I can focus on the tasks that interest me. Kanban board. Another view in task aid is board. The board view is the view I use the most when completing tasks. The number of boards you use is up to you, but I stuck with to do, doing and done. In each board, you can move tasks and lists within it. You can also move tasks and the lists between each board. You can tick off each task or the list itself.
You can also fold up or down the list to hide or show tasks. This is something particularly useful when you do not want to be overwhelmed by the number of tasks. Project Task Attributes. Task Aid allows you to add attributes to each task. You can set a due date. Task Aid can sync the due date with Google Calendar. You can assign owners, track comments, attach documents, use priority tags. I decided to map this based on the Eisenhower matrix. You can also add other tags and you can search on them. It would be good to add additional attributes that I needed, but I'm not sure if this is possible. Templates. TaskAid has many different templates you can start from or even create your own. Some of my favorite include bullet journal, scrum board, weekly task. A large number of templates allows the user a straightforward route to getting started on TaskAid. Summary. TaskAid can be used for personal project management and offers many features free or not available on Trello. Now that it includes unlimited projects on its free plan and offline mode, I have extra incentive to use it. And I think if I was doing a small project with multiple people, I would start with TaskAid. If you are interested in more techniques, tools and hacks to improve your workflow, please subscribe to my channels for the latest videos. Thanks for watching.